Good morning. It's time because it's 7 a.m. 7 a.m. That means it's time, time to go. Hi, I'm Amanda Hartman, speech pathologist with Assistive Wear. We're going to read this book today and use Proloquo as we talk about it. Hey, what fun! Now, I've got my second iPad set up here so that I can see all your comments. So this is an interactive video where you can join in and leave us comments and questions and all of those things. So let me just see if I can find the video of our Facebook Live today. And where will it be? And then we can get started. Okay, let's see. Just looking for where our videos are. Who's out there today? Good morning, good morning, and welcome. Let's see. Um, I can't find any videos. Where would they be? Um, hello, is anybody out there? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. I just don't see the video popping up. We have these technical difficulties every now and then where... Amanda doesn't know how to make things all work out. So let's see if we can find the live video. Here I am. Okay. Good morning. Welcome. Uh, we have Shannon and Isabel out there helping today. So hi, Ian. Thank you, Naomi. Good morning, Evan and Olivia. I can see all of your messages. Phew. Okay. We're over it. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. Let's look at what we're going to do today because, oh, hang on again, let me go again, because this is Miss Amanda's AAC, this is see in front session. It's this session. Maybe I need to turn my volume up a little bit so you can hear me. We're going to read the book. Read the book. This has got this word in it today too. So we're going to talk about word endings. Word endings. And then we're going to finish our session by... Favourite animals. Oh, I want to talk to you about your favourite animals. Yes, good idea. Welcome, welcome. So we are here in June and we're coming in all from around the world. Hi, Gabby in New Zealand. And we're in the US and we're in Canada and Australia. And we can all come together because we love using AAC. <laughs> welcome. This book is called The Skunk with no funk. Oh, here's my skunk. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I have something to say about this. Different. This skunk is very different. He's different because do you know what? He does not. not. I need a pale pink word. Smell. He does not smell at all. Nope. 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 No, he has no no smell at all. That's a bit strange. I thought usually that animals skunk that skunks were very. Oh, I had to add some words today. Stinky skunk stinky. I thought they were stinky. Mhm. Mm but not this one. Strange. And this is a book about the skunk with no funk. They use the word funk to talk about smell. Hmm, so on my proloquo, where I have smell, smell, I added the word funk as a related word. We always learn new words, <laughs> different ways of saying things. The skunk with no funk. The skunk with no funk. That is, I agree. Different. That is a little bit different. <laughs> Because usually they're very smelly. Not him. I wonder what will happen. The skunk with no funk. Oh, look. Here he is when he was a baby. And it says, He's a perfect little skunk. His tail stuck up like a glorious tree. But how can it be, cried Dad. Oh, it's terrible, cried Mum. Oh dear, not a whiff of mud, not a sniff of swamp, not a dash of dung, no smell at all. This is a skunk with no funk. Hmm, I think that sounds good. Good. It's good to me if he does not smell. Ugh. Because I have something to say. 
I do, do not, not like. like. I do not like stinky things. What about you? Oh. But I wonder. Oh, I have an idea. Did you know that a skunk, and I'm thinking a people word, that maybe mom, his mum and dad, oh, they have a big feeling. They are very, let's see. Worried. They're worried. They're worried about their little baby skunk. Oh, dear. Because you might not know this, but he has to use his smell, smell so that he can, um, now I looked up this word, he has to do something in his society, he has to protect, he has to protect himself with his smell, oh, oh no, so feelings words, how is he going to be safe, safe if he does not, not smell, goodness me, what things do you do to stay safe? Do you do stinky things at people? That's a silly answer. <laughs> Welcome. We have lots of friends joining us. Hello from our friend Samari in Dubai as well. And if you've got any questions or anything, um, we have Shannon and Isabel joining us as well. So, oh dear, how will he stay safe? And mum says, it's okay. I will go. Go. I will go with him everywhere and look after him. <gasps> Mums are good at that. And dads. Okay. So here they go. They went for a walk. Whoop. 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 And the little skunk said, You can't follow me forever, Mum, he said. Mum said, I'm afraid I must. Yeah, so she's thinking a lot about safe keeping him safe. Oh my goodness me. How? How is he going safe. to be safe? Say no. He's going to have to say no. Yes, you're right. Here we go. So, aha. Mum said, I have an idea. Go home. That's in our repair folder. Oh, idea. I have an idea, said Mum. She said, Let's go and put you in in some things so you get smell, smell. so you can be all smelly stink and stinky. So first, oh yuck! Look, Ugh. he got to go, go in. in the rubbish bin. Whoa, so stinky! Woof! Oh dear. And so then he went to visit the birds, the birds in the trees. Huh. Let's see. But did he scare the birds away? Not. Not at all. He's too friendly. <laughs> it's good to be friendly. Okay, next. <gasps> Watch out. Uh, yuck. He's in the cow poo. What? Gross. Mum made him go, go in, the, in the cow poo so he'll get super Smell. super smelly. Ugh, yuck. Stinky. But then he just started dancing with the grasshoppers. Mm. Last thing. Here he is. Oh, he's down in the swamp. He keeps going places. They're trying hard to make him smell. But it didn't work. Look, he's feeling, do you know what? I think it's very interesting. He is feeling, uh, where's my feeling words? He is feeling a little bit upset, upset. And very, very, where's the word? Sad. Sad. He's feeling sad and that is because... Because different. Because he's different to everyone else and he does not smell. I wonder, is it okay to be different? Different. I think so. Oh dear. Okay, let's see what happens. 
one day, look, here's the little skunk. Oh, he's going, Sorry. going for a walk, but he did not, not go Sorry. with mum. Mum. He went on his own. Uh-oh. Oh, I have a question. Goodness me. Will he be able to be safe? safe? Because remember, he can't smell. Okay. He was on his own. All of a sudden. Oh, let me open that up for you. Sorry. All of a sudden. Oh, no. Swoosh. 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 Oh. Uh-oh. Goodness me, be careful, little skunk, because there are some big, there are some big birds. Where's a bird? Where's a bird? Oh, there are some big bird. birds coming. Oh no. Oh, what will he do? What? He cannot no. make a big smell, smell to tell them to go away. It is scary. You're right. Okay. Let's see what he did. Oh! Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Remember that our friend the skunk, he is very different. different. So he did not. Not. He did not have a smell, smell. but there was still something that he could do, do. that was different. Different. And I'm going to go to a folder for all the things that he did. He went, we need our body page. He's doing some body actions. So let's see. He's going to step. Step. Do, do, do. He's going to spin. Spin. Do, do, do. Spinning, spinning, spinning. He's going to dance. Dance. Dancing. What else will he do? He's going to next. Oh. <gasps> Wiggle. Wiggle! He did lots of different things with his body. My goodness. And I wonder what happened. Oh! <gasps> the owls went. Oh! <gasps> they were so surprised. They were so surprised that they Stop. stopped everything. And then our skunk was able to run away. Ah, yes. Do you know what? Where was a safe place for him to go? Where would he run away from? He ran away from those big birds. I know. He had to go to... to he had to go to a safe, safe place. Let's see. I'm going to look on my places. Where's a safe place? Looking, looking. I know a safe place. Welcome, you can join the live anytime. Home. He went home. Let's see. Look, there he is running away. Quick, run! Hooray! He ran home to be nice and safe with his family. So it says, oh, You were so groovy, cried Pa. He gets his rhythm from me, said Mum. Oh dear, oh dear. You were, didn't have funk, but you were the funkiest skunk they'd ever seen. Oh, they changed the word funk to funky. We should do that too. Oh dear, there they were. And he was happy in the end, safe at home. And now he had a plan. He could do some things that were, let's see. Different. Different, so that he could still say Safe. Safe. <laughs> wow. So that was very interesting book. There was a word in that that they used was the word funk. Sometimes we can add with our keyboard, we can add letters to words to change them. It's very fun way to make new words. So I'm going to go F U N K. I'm going to put a Y on the end. Oh, the letter Y. And when the letter Y is on the end of a long word, it makes a long E sound. Funky. Th 
funky. We changed the word funk, which meant smell, to funky. <gasps> Have you ever heard that word before? Let's see if we've got it in Proloquo. <gasps> so, funky. Funky, 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 funky. I wonder what funky means. Have you got a word in your AAC that means funky? Let me see. I'm going to go to my blue words because it's a describing word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> mm, I'm thinking of something. Oh, I'll go to my opinions. Has anybody got a word that means funky in their AAC? Does it mean lucky? No, not really. Does it mean silly? No, not really. <gasps> I think funky. Let's see. I will wait. I'll wait and give you guys a turn first. See if you know what being funky means. <gasps> Our friend Evan and Olivia found a word. They said it means being cool. Yes, that's a great word. <gasps> I don't have cool on mine. Let me see. Cool. No. Hmm. Cool. Oh, very good. Maybe Bodie found cool too. Well done. Or Bodie's mum. Thank you for being here. Interesting. Sometimes if we're funky, we're interesting. I've got it under awesome. awesome. And I added it as a related word because I think it means cool. That you're cool. Funky. And you're funky. I wonder, can we change the ending of the words to make a new word watch this so i'm still have got funky but now i'm going to change it i'm not just saying funky like our skunk i have put in a different ending on the end i need an i an e and an s t i e s T. Funkiest. 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 <gasps> funkiest. Remember our skunk? He was the funkiest skunk ever. Because <laughs> he had all those lovely, lovely, lovely <gasps> different. different moves. Hmm. A oh, groovy. <laughs> Bodie's sister said groovy. That is a good word for funky too. <laughs> well done. Okay. All right. Let's pick another word where we can put different endings on. Um, let me find another word in our opinions. What could we change? Oh, I like this word. <gasps> silly. Silly. I'm going to write silly over our list. Silly. Silly. Okay. <gasps> in quo. I have some words down in my last column that have different word endings. They're grammar. If you're using Proloquo to go, you might be able to hold down your finger on some of the words to find different ways to say the word. Different grammar ways. So, oh, here we go. I've got a word. Sillies. Sillies. I'm going to shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Do you ever get the sillies where you're feeling all silly? We're all silly together. So I changing the word ending, I'm putting an S on the end because we've got the sillies. Sillies, shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Wibble my wobbles away. Well, that's a wiggle song. You know if you know. Okay, what other things could we put on the end of silly? Okay, I'll go back. I'm going to say it again. Silly. I'm going to look in my last column. Have you got any ideas of things you could add to the end of silly to make a new word? Let's see if you can find that in your AAC. Oh, we're testing ourselves today. We're thinking about new words. Did you think he was a silly skunk? Oh, do you know what? Our friend Evan found a word. He said, and I've got it here. Silliest. Silliest. He's the silliest skunk. Or maybe you're saying Miss Amanda is the, the silliest person here. Aha! Silliest. S silliest. Oh, I need a T right in the end of that one. Silliest. Oh. Oh, I got the song wrong. <laughs> Thank you, Naomi. <laughs> it's an old school song then. Silly. 
silliest. Amanda's being the silliest with my silly. Oh, and sillier. I'm sillier than you. Maybe. <laughs> sillier. Sillier. Those words sound funny with the words on the end. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, <laughs> thank you for helping me make some new words. It's fun taking a word and adding endings on the end to make different words. I like doing that. That helps me learn lots about letters and words and what words mean. So I'm going to go home because I need to check the time because we have a bit of time together and I can time. check that it's 7.20 a.m. 7.20 a.m. And on our schedule, we just have one last thing that we need to do because we read the book, we did the word endings now. Favourite animals. Favourite animals. I, oh, let me tell you, because when I was reading the book, I was having a big think. 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 I was thinking about... <clears throat> about. I was thinking about all the animals in the book. I was thinking about all the animals in the book, because in the book... I saw birds, I saw skunks, but I also saw, what else? I'm sure there was other animals in here. More birds, <gasps> porcupines, hedgehogs, echidnas. What would you call this animal? I saw grasshoppers and butterflies. Oh, I saw so many different animals in the book. And it made me think that I have a question. So I want to ask you all a question. What? What is, is you? Not you, your. your. What is your, where's the word I want? Favourite. Favorite. What is your favourite animal? animal? What is your favourite animal? What is your favourite animal? Hmm. I'd love to hear from you. Oh, Naomi likes turtles. I think turtles are with my reptiles and amphibians. So let's write a list. We're going to write a list of all our favourites. A turtle. turtle. What else? Who else? What are your favourite animals? Tell us. <gasps> Aha. Our friend Evan. I'm going to add Evans to the list. I'm going to go back to our animals. He chose a mammal. I have to look down the list. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. And then Evan also chose a bird animal that lives on the farm. Chicken. Or else they live in your backyard, don't they, Evan? And Evan's little sister, Olivia, she chose an animal that's also, I think, a mammal. Oh, rhino. A rhino. Oh, look at our list of all these amazing animals. Haha, uh -huh. Ian, thank you for telling us your favourite animal. He also chose some an animal that lots of people like. Dog. Dogs. And even oh, Ian's mum. She likes cats. Cat. We gotta put those on the list. These are such good animals. So let me make sure I didn't miss anybody's. Gabby likes dogs too. Oh, and Bodie. <laughs> Bodie wanted dogs too, but he also chose another mammal with a big mane. Lion. A lion. Oh, some of our friends have good reasons why that's their favourite animals. <laughs> ah, oh, can I have a go? Can I add my favourite animal to the list? Because I have a favourite animal. I do like dogs and cats too. But if I was trying to choose from this big mammals folder, I would choose a monkey. Monkey. Monkeys are so fun to watch at the zoo. So that's what I would choose. Look at our long list of all of our favourite animals. That was very fun. I like learning more about our friends by asking good questions. Do you have some questions on your AAC that you can use to ask friends? Questions like, what's their favourite animal? What's their favourite food? All of those sorts of things. Aha, uh -huh, I do. I like monkeys and dogs and cats. But, yeah, monkeys are my favourite when I visit the zoo. 
Okay, well, we really are finished for today. Finished, yes. Let me go home. I want to say we're finished, finished because I think our time's up. But if the adults have any questions for me, you can ask them now. And while you're thinking of questions, um, the team are going to share. We've been talking about team collaboration on our website and um, on the website and on our social media and we know that getting teams on board and collaborating together is really difficult for lots of you so we've tried to put together some tips and strategies that might be able to help you on your team so keep following us we've got more articles to share Isabella shared one of the links today but there's lots of different articles on our blog and our learn AAC section um, and on social media Hopefully there are some tips that you can share with your team that is going to make a difference for you. It doesn't always work out or be easy, but we're here to help you in any way we can at Assistive Wear. Okay, so are there any questions out there? Nope, doesn't look like it. Well, thanks friends for joining. Um, and did you know that all of our Facebook Lives, if you go to the Assistive Wear YouTube page, there are a couple of playlists um, where you can watch past Facebook Lives. So that's a great way to catch up and see some more. Um, great. Thanks, Amanda. Amanda just shared that she'd want more tips for sharing in school. So we'll keep sharing our different articles and hopefully we find something that you can um, share with your team. So thanks again, everybody, for joining in. It's been lovely to spend the morning with you and uh, good luck with everything. Have a great, have a great, um, have a great month and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye. Thank you. <gasps> okay. Have I got a pink word? I'll say bye. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Thank you.